Okay, I think it's time for us to start. Good evening, everyone. How are you doing? Please let me know if the music is too loud. I'm just trying out some new stuff tonight. Uh, I've got a whole new playlist on my um, on my PC here going on, which is quite nice. Some stream beats, which I think will sound quite good in the background here. So tonight we're just going to be sitting here chilling, playing around some um, some blocks as we do. Uh, we're going to be building some villas uh, overlooking the canal of Wolverhampton. And I think it'll be quite a nice evening just to do. I mean, by saying I'm going to start, I have already started building one. Um, I'm already a couple of evenings into it. So I think it's probably time to get started. Evening, right, Ethan? How are you doing? I mean, I've already said hello to you tonight, but that's fine. Um, yeah, like I said, let me know. Is it all good? Can you hear the music? Is it dominating my voice? I don't know. I can't hear it. Well, I can, but it's coming through my um, my sort of bit where my mic comes through as well. So, anyway, right, let's get um, let's get into it. Ah, hello, JDMC. How is it going? Everyone, all good? Music is great on my end. Perfect. That's what I want to hear. So, guys, we are here. If you haven't watched my most recent episode of Let's Build Warhampton, then you would have missed out on all of this stuff. This amazing canal docks, lock, the lock and key and this lovely row of houses. Now, also during this episode, I started building this area up over here um, because I put the bridge across and we got all sorts of things going on. I think I've turned my render distance. Oh no, it is up. So I want to get started with adding some more um, villas along this road here. So I already had this one here, which was known as Buckland Place. Uh, to me, it looks a bit, but a little bit, mm, but I think we can do a little bit of improvements to it over time. What I have been building though is this one here, number one and two Buckland Villas. Um, ah, thanks for the follow there, Tristorm. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I can't say I just saw the notification that you were streaming and I had to follow. Well, thanks for that, mate. Nice for you to pop by. Uh, this will be uploaded over on YouTube tomorrow. But yeah, so tonight, just going to carry on building this lovely villa here that's number one and that's number two buckland villas uh they're built in a regency style i think they are maybe 1820s and they're from limington um i can actually probably bring up the reference design i had for them let me just go find that somewhere um but yeah so i've been wanting to build these ones for a while now to me and to you they probably look a bit plain but we you know we can add some details around it once you start getting some trees in there it all starts coming to life a little bit better but yeah so it has been a while since i've streamed i'm sorry about that guys it's just how it goes sometimes um and yeah i thought i might come back on give you guys a bit of a tuesday night stream so on screen now you should be able to see the villas i've actually used as the reference for them um and I, yeah this There we go. Sorry, I pressed mute. I was trying. To, I've got all my buttons mapped on my um like keyboard to try and ease things, and what happened is I pressed the mute button instead of the actual switch screen button. So anyway, I'm a bit rusty at this again. I'm trying to get back into the ropes of it, but yeah. So we're going to be building this villa here. Uh, let me take this down. I don't like it. And yeah, so I've decided to go for white concrete powder uh, instead of white concrete. Now, people are probably screaming there saying, what, what, that's a dangerous block to use, but it is and it isn't. It's it's a lovely colour. I love the colour it gives. It's a really nice bluey hue to a white. Now, we could obviously paint this with some white concrete instead. Let me just have a look, see what that does look like. Now, I find white concrete is a bit overpowering sometimes. Don't look at the back there. We'll get around to that in a minute. <laughs> and um, let's replace the white concrete powder. I do a list a lot throughout my builds, just um, replacing one block with another. Let's see what that looks like. I'm, I'm looking to you guys to give me answers. I actually, I mean, I, I, <laughs> all right, I, I'm stumbling because I actually do like it. And I was sort of having a battle with myself the other day to go, 
No, I'm not going to use white concrete. I mean, I do like the blue it gives. See, the thing is with Georgian buildings is they weren't originally painted white like that. They were actually painted like these buildings here. So we've got like a, a greyish hue to this one. Uh, then you've got a slightly darker greyish one to that one. So it's anyone's game really. A mixture of both. See, we need to either go for like a really nice smooth stucco. Or maybe if we do this. Don't know what bone block would look like mixed in there. We'll give this one a dominating sort of 70% um, of white concrete. But yeah, so this is kind of why I wanted to come on here tonight, guys, just to get your inputs on stuff and things. And maybe white concrete powder as well. Let's just give that. If we say that one 10%. Uh, and then maybe 20% bone block. Um maybe a bit of white wool yes see texturing to me is never I'm never that good at it uh, hello um, yeah that looks a mess <laughs> um, white concrete pound with diorite yeah but see this is the thing so that's the building I know it's plain I know it's bland but what that is, is, is a stucco. It's a it's a render on the outside. It's been painted. Too many textures, too many textures. Um, so, yeah, let's discuss texturing. Because I'm always bad at texturing. Always. I use the concrete then. Yeah, but I feel the concrete's too plain. That's the problem. we got to try and give a bit of, um, a bit of wear into it. Which is why I go for the white concrete powder, but that looks more like a pebble dash. Um, so I would I, w I would use bone block for the whole building if I could, but I think that's just too much. Rex, stop! Welcome, hello. How's it going? For the whole building to be out of bone block, yeah, that's that's too much. Uh, undo that but yeah let's just let's just chill guys and, and see if we can work out what we actually want maybe maybe we can mix in some smooth quartz and then maybe some uh, maybe some quartz walls sorry quartz bricks uh, white concrete powder and wall yeah I could try that see what that looks like I'm not sure about the bricks in there and white um am i too late too late for what no we're just getting started um we've only just been on about 10 minutes um yeah now that looks that looks good i like wool um i like the use of that but now i'm thinking maybe it's maybe it's too textured i haven't got anything against that let's have a look see what it looks like in shaders so you can see how I go from my thinking process here and why I'm so slow at building. Because as with you guys, I'm actually still learning how to um, build in this style. So it's all a learning game for all of us. Oh, come on. Look at that. You can't say you, you can't say that it's beautiful or not beautiful. Yeah, you can't say that's not beautiful. Sorry, I'm just sipping tea. Uh, it's interesting you are talking about the white texture because I'm building... Uh, the pick I sent in building inspiration um, and then lots of white yes now lots of white is my main concern when building in this style completely um, because it can become very overpowering I'm not I'm not moving I'm just standing here looking at it through the trees it can become very overpowering but it can also be so commanding as well I think we've I think we've nailed it I think that looks good it's got enough sort of change in color that it works but it's not too much I do like the wall uh, I'm using white concrete powder wall and diorite I think diorite would be for this it'd be way too much because you, you, you're losing out on the smoothness 
I think the wall adds that little bit of cracked rendering to it. Uh, it has a darker section, the veil. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This is all, as we can see in the picture, it's all been rendered the same color. I'm not, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. I'm really happy with that. So yeah, no, and, and this is kind of, if you guys have any queries, you know, on, on how to build a building, jump on over into our Discord and we have a section in there called building advice, I think it is. And in that we like to answer and go through people's problems they have with colors, textures, building styles and that. Uh, we have a really great team of builders in there who are always open to help. And we also have a specific section now for building in domes. So if you guys need some help with domes, we have an amazing, amazing people waiting on hand to um, to to help you. Yes, you'll find it over in Dome Hub, um, and, and yeah, that is what we've called it. I think, isn't it? I'm just looking at it right now. Um, yeah, it's called Dome Hub, and we talk about all things domes. So if you guys aren't already part of my Discord, click on that link there. Domes for you. All right, I like that. I think that looks nice. Uh, interesting porch roof situation of the house IRL. Yes, it is. So, should we talk about that? Um, what's going on here is... I'm going to try and drag that screen around. What's going on here is you've got the pagoda-styled roof here at the front, which was the original feature piece of this Georgian house. Uh, it's very common of the Regency style. You've got this, yeah, sloping roof with the ironwork around it. This was clearly added later um, because if we come over this side, you can see it has a different sort of affair on there as well. So I think that porch was added at a different period. I think this one may be period, but I can't, I can't tell you that exactly. It's got the same railings. This one could be real. That one's definitely an addition, or they've had the roof changed at some time. So I've gone for the latter because I liked I liked the little interesting um, shape it had with this little extra bit here. I wanted to add in some extra, you know, some extra bits there. Gave a bit more colour. Uh, join the Discord stream. What? We want me to sit in Discord and stream. I mean, we, we can do that. I'm now sitting in Discord. So I guess if anyone wants to come and join me. Uh, would it not be my stylistic choice, lol? Uh, okay, what would you um, what would you have done? All right, let's turn these shades off and get to um, get to building. So anyway, with with the um, the front section sort of done. Um, it's time now to get on with actually building the house itself. So I'm going to dig out a little bit of basement here. What it's doing is it's going to have a nice long sloping garden that comes off down here and just chills out rack right here. Mm. So I am trying to think because right, what happened was there was a canal through here at some point in the past, uh, maybe a couple of weeks ago. I've removed that now and I kind of need a boundary set this garden up against I knew this was gonna happen I was gonna run up over here now oh, on the real build I mean looks great in game or else we left it empty yes so was I um, but in game it seems to come out quite nicely because you get this extra little bit of detail in there and you've got some more colors which is quite nice yeah I do like that I think that works now the white counteracts the white okay it's good so apparently I'm sitting in the general chat of our Discord if anyone wants to come join. I might jump out of it in a second if no one does because I don't want to risk any anybody just jumping in. But it'd be nice if anyone wants to come chat. Right. So we've got the boundary wall through here. It's now a case of trying to figure out where the garden's going to go up to. Oh, I see. Well, now I've joined the general chat, so I'm going to leave that. 
I forget that people can read the messages on all the screens. Right. So we got... What was I doing with this road arrangement? Good evening, soul bad guy. Welcome back. It's been, um, you've been here for pretty much every stream, I think. Welcome back again. So this is what I've been puzzling myself over all day. And by all day, I mean a good, good few hours. I need... I need to find out what I'm doing with this. I think the garden will slope down to about there. There'll be a path that runs along the back. But we need to have like a road that comes off of that diagonal road down here. To allow surface vehicles to come in. Or it comes off this road and comes around the back. I want these to have like gate, um, not gate houses, but like coach houses at the back. Um, evening, Mr. Oh, hello, MC and beyond. Welcome. Nice of you guys to be joining us from the um, from the Discord. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. So let's just set out where the center of this is. I believe it's there. So let's drag this all the way down. Nice long garden. So these are going to be some really, really coveted properties. Uh, ignore the fact that this house is just falling because the roof hasn't been finished. Um, and these are kind of at the edge of town as well. So beyond here, there isn't much. I think we're going to have, well, there's a pub. And we need to somehow integrate this pub into the rest of town. It's been built, I don't even know when we built this, a very long time ago. Um, what was it called? Oh yeah, the George and Dragon. So it's, it's an interesting pub. It was based on the Mayflower pub in in Limington which I can show you quickly because we are here country pub yeah well country-ish it's um so in real life it is down here just on the edge of the um Limington River I mean w w in no way have we managed to actually um recreate it I, I to be honest I would take it down um and possibly have another go at it because I don't think I built this. I think I I was here while people built it. So yeah, I think this pub's this pub's gonna go. Um, I know sad times, but we will rebuild you at one point in the future. So let's let's remove you, and we'll come we'll come through here and terraform this place. At some point. Oh god, maybe now. Um, let's get a BR. Oh, I don't really want a sphere. I'll go for a BR cylinder. Not 12. Make it about 7. Um, yeah, so what is everyone up to tonight? I know it's a, it's a Tuesday night. Um, and it's always nice just to chill. Oh wow, I was just typing out a message. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He... he he don't say goodbye to you, mate. He likes to just dine and dash, so to speak. I'm sure you can you can get to him on, on, on Discord if you need to. So I want to finish off Wolhampton. Um, I want to get it all nice and tidied away so I can move on happily to my next town. Uh, by doing things like this, I also just end up doing absolutely nothing. You're doing absolutely nothing. Well, that's perfectly fine. I enjoy people that do that so they can come and watch me. So, what would you like to see me do in my next tips and tricks video on? I'm thinking canals, but that's just me. You guys are probably better to answer that question. Uh, no, mask 12. There we go. Get this gone. Leave a little bit of ruinous landscape there. It's fine. We'll come back for it in a bit and sort that out. Um, this lake's going to stay. This road needs to come through. Decoration. That's. I think that's too vague for me to even attempt to answer. Um, we need. We need more to go on than just decoration. Said like SpongeBob with his little rainbow. Um, Seven, uh, actually I want zero and seven. Oh. 
Still getting used to this uh, cylinder brush. Shaders. Tips and tricks on shaders. Um, okay. What and how to install them? All vehicles. Well, as we all know, the running joke is that I've only built one vehicle. I've now built two, but the second one is its not even worthy of being called a vehicle. It looks more like, um, yeah, like absolutely nothing. Also, guys, I know the title says I'm building villas, but we'll get onto the villa in about an hour or so. <laughs> this is what I, I think this is what last stream ended up like. I was over here filling in this hole, sort of like monuments and statues. Oh, okay, so like city decorations. Gotcha. Um, could do. That would require me actually working out what I would want to build. See, the thing with my tips and tricks is I try and weave it around things that I've done recently so that I can sort of safely say I know what I'm doing. Um, also, it helps with the whole time spent on it thing. Um, yeah, I know. Um, CSK, he is so good at building lately. It's been incredible. Got to, got to catch up with you guys. I'm so behind on just progress. Now happens, and I just think about stuff all day, every day, on how to, how I want things to go. Like this road, I want it to be full of houses, full of terraced houses, but that, that is never going to happen, is it? We can, we can just copy and paste it. Ignore these little signs, there was going to be a pub here, but never happened. Never, never happened. So come with me, guys, as I terraform the entirety of Wolhampton today, because... I've got to. And then at least then I can start placing the buildings in that I want to do. That villa can stay unvillied for another hour or so, and then we'll get back to it. Um, so, okay. Name me a few a few situations where you would like to see a monument in a city. Yeah? By a train station, in a park, that sort of thing. They're sort of, mm, they're very sort of personal to a city. I can't say just go build an obelisk. Because you need a reason to build an obelisk. Like, we have one over there because uh, it was a real life one that was built to commemorate a great admiral, but we just built it to... I think it was a gift to me from Brookwood, which was a really nice little surprise. Um, but, yeah. So let's fill in all of this. Um, oh god. So I'm, I'm, I'm really struggling to sort of figure out what I want to do with the edge of town here. Now this is going to be like a, a 19th century infilling of houses, uh, maybe even early 20th century. Um, so it's going to be terrace houses through here. There's going to be a school over here. Oh this all needs to go. This all needs to go. This river has been the bane of my life for a long time. Going to bite that bullet, going to get rid of it. But yeah, so when it comes to tips and tricks, and even tutorials to that matter, you guys, you guide me onto what you want. I am but your humble servant on that one. Unless it's interiors, and I can't do interiors. Uh, in a park in front of a train station, maybe like people to do the railways, important figures. Yeah, okay, that's that makes sense. So I'm going to have to try and figure out how to build people. Um, which is, it's alright, I guess. It's not the easiest or nicest thing to do, but... We can do it nevertheless. I mean, there's obviously those statues of like George Stevenson and Robert Stevenson outside. I think one's outside Euston, one's in Waverley in Edinburgh. Uh, anywhere really. I have to figure if it was a figure from the town. Yeah, okay. Well, when it comes to statues in Minecraft, they're going to all look the same. Um, or they're all going to just be. You can't really put features on it. Like I could build Isambard King Brunel statue and just put a top hat on it. I guess that would work. Um, yeah, I was going to say, just build statues and put nameplates on it. That seems the most logical way of doing that. And do five. So what's everyone been working on lately? Anyone working on anything interesting? Any big projects? I 
I'm currently between projects and waiting to um waiting to film the next server update, which will happen tomorrow for your viewing pleasures this weekend. Um, builders application. Oh, lovely. You just got back from holiday. Lovely stuff. Oh, that was down in Cornwall, wasn't it? I believe. Lovely part of the world. Uh, builders application. Excellent. I can't wait to see that. And what was that, Sean? You have just started the canal. Nice stuff. Where's. Are you on the server? No, you're not on the server. Um, with a mess of a hotel on the headland. Yeah, that was an interesting choice of architecture. Well, it doesn't surprise me. It's that sort of really late Victorian, let's try out everything under the sun style. Okay, so this is where the school's going to go. And it's going to be like a school field behind it, I think. So that's one thing that's always been lacking. I've always wanted to build a school. Um, MS Builds did a beautiful one in Hambridge. That means Jamie went around and found the maypole at the back. And that was lovely. I loved that. The atmosphere there was beautiful. Really want to do that. What's that? Even more warehouses today. Oh, nice stuff. Are you on now? You are on now. Right, hopefully once I've done this, I can get my head around what goes where a bit better. Oh, excellent. Yeah, so you, you, you're using Ellington, Elling, Elling, Ellingham. There we go. That's better. Ellingham for its fuel fuel potential. Um, I haven't built anything there. Really need to at some point. But I, I obviously prioritise all my time to Wolhampton. Um, yeah, it's a good little thing. We need to get our community towns going a bit better. See, what I would love to do is have like a builder rank that doesn't have world edit and allows people to just you know, train here, but unfortunately we can't trust everyone and I think things would not really work. So maybe maybe in the future if we buy a second server and have it as a, a sort of training server and then get people over once they're done, that might be quite a nice idea. What's the ground sloping away from them? Um, oh, we haven't got we haven't got the map open tonight. Let's get that open. Um, it goes back to, to that builder hierarchy I mentioned for the white book. Yeah, it does. Um, the only problem with that is we need lots of people to manage that. Unfortunately, we don't have lots of people to manage that sort of thing. Um, so yeah. Anyway, so this is what I'm doing. Uh, we started here. I've now worked my way all the way around town and gone, oh, I need to fix that. So, Wolhampton stops about here. I, What I want to do in this spot here is place a large country house known as... I'm, I'm not sure what to call it yet. I was going to call it Ampress House, um, which is naming after an area of Livington. I was also going to call it Priestlands, which is also naming after a place in Livington. But I may put Priestlands here now which would be quite nice along the main road. Um, this is going to be a big old, like, early 17th century house with a huge um, tower on it. I think that's going to look beautiful. Can't wait to do that. That's going to be, like, the sort of side project I've built before I start Sutton. Um, anyway, digressing. You can see how my brain works all over the place, scatty as anything. That road's going to carry on there and possibly just carry on. Not sure yet. Might just stop about there. Just want some more houses down it. 
This road's going to carry on. And that one's going to go up to about, yeah, across the canal. See, this is the problem. I'm not sure. I've got no hard, real hard boundaries around here to make any roads sort of stop or do anything. And I'm not sure what to do with these roads. So that one might come down and terminate. Oh, yeah, it will terminate, terminate up there. Will the survival series be continued? Uh, no, not not anytime soon. I barely have time to build, <laughs> let alone do a survival series as well. Um, issue with the survival series is it's it's so much work. Um, like I I want to build, I love building. Building's my sort of thing that I want to do more of. I don't do enough of it. So if I um if I start doing a survival series as well, it's never gonna. Nothing's ever going to get done. Why is that road going down? Um, also, no one watched it. So, there was no point carrying it up. No point putting hours into something that um, no one's going to watch. Which is sad because it was fun. I think what I need to do is um, I need to approach some YouTubers and I need to give them an idea of making a survival server to do with building cities and towns and having like one big goal to work together to build one big town or something like that. And everyone has their own individual villages. I don't know. It's called, sort of just literally come into my mind now. So we'll flesh that one out. But yeah I, I i think that would be the sort of the survival stuff i would get behind quite happily what am i trying to do oh, i'm gonna have to carry that across Well, the thing with survival is it's so much time wasted collecting materials that it just seems a little pointless when you want to build the next big sort of mansion or something. It's a bit, a bit like that. Ah, the range hog. Welcome. How's it going? Nice to see you around. I think you were here last stream. Or maybe I've seen you over on our YouTube channel. Anyway, I apologise, I'm just filling in areas of sand again tonight. I will get on to doing something a bit more creative in a moment. Yeah, that carries on like that. This all gets filled in. Uh, ah, hello, random builders. Welcome. How's it going? Ah, it's, it's nice to see people returning. I know I haven't done this much. Um, at all in the last month or so. It's, it's horrible. I we went for a stage of really loving it, and then I went for a stage of going, oh, I need to need to just build and chill. But this is chill enough. Now I've got this music working properly. Um, I'm yeah, I'm good. Thanks. Yeah, lovely stuff. Just um, doing a bit of terraforming, filling in a river because it kind of needs to go. But yeah, what we got? We got a few people watching tonight. It's lovely stuff. Um, I guess I'm on my road now to the first, maybe, proper milestone of 250 followers. I think about 140. Can't can't really remember. I haven't had a look today. But yeah, congrats on one year on YouTube. Oh yes, thank you. And as you saw, um, I got my lovely, lovely ugly mug out and gave you guys all a peek at what the face looks like behind the camera. Oh, sorry, behind the microphone. So I hope you um, hope you guys enjoyed that. It wasn't too horrific. But yeah, the question is, no, I won't be um, I won't be uh, getting a camera on here just yet. I need to buy myself a, a webcam. Left me with nightmares. Well, that's good enough. If that left you nightmares, you should watch some of my earlier stuff. <laughs> that was um, that was horrifying. What's that, MS Builds? Sand cylinders. 
are all I did tonight. Yeah, I, I think I think we are now the sand cylinder crew. That's all we do. We got the goose gang over on the eastern uh, western part of the world, and now we're just the sand the sand guys. We'll keep Yeah, we'll keep that river. That river's staying. And the penguin gang all over the world. Oh yes, I you got your answer, didn't you, in the Q and A? You, I don't know if it was a forced answer or not, but <laughs> you you managed to get penguins out of me. But yeah, it's um, it's crazy to think I've already spent a whole a whole year doing this as this channel, and. In that time, I've gone from, you know, not really 100% fleshing out what I want to do into got a team together, got it all sorts of started now. We're just growing up from here. It's great fun. Oh, I was going to ask you the same thing. It's been awful. None of my None of my posts have got, like, any traction whatsoever it's been so slow i mean i haven't really been posting much lately at all but compared to what it was like a couple of weeks ago it's honestly been it's been terrible it's it's, it's sort of made me not really push for anything uh, usually i was trying to build little things so i could put them out there but lately it's just been what's the point How's um how's your new YouTube channel going then random builds? My last two posts are doing horribly. I used to get around 1k likes in under an hour and now I barely get uh, to be honest, I was getting to the point where I would get 1k in a day at least. Um but now it's it's barely even reaching five hundred sometimes. Um Yeah, I I, th I think it's it's very hit and miss sometimes. I was going through stages where I was getting hundreds of followers a day on you know on days I hadn't even posted for about a week or two, but it has all sort of slowed down a little bit. I think I think YouTube's better to focus on. There's much more much more exposure here. Plus, the, the reward is much greater. But now I've got to work out how to grow from 3,000 to my goal of uh, 10,000 by this time next year. I think it's doable. A bit of hard work. Uh, I'm working my way through your videos on YouTube. I haven't reached the most recent ones yet. Oh, that's cool. No worries. It's nice to know people are actually watching back some stuff. Uh, Dan Bear Pig here. Uh, Minecraft Instagram seems overcrowded and saturated with recycled memes and just recycled posts. Uh, there was one day last week. Within an hour, I had the same post reposted three times by three different accounts. One had like. I don't know, 40,000 followers. The other one had 10 followers and another one had like 100. So it's like, okay, thanks guys. But um, yeah, honestly, it's... um, Yeah, it's bad. There's only really a few accounts doing like original content on there. How long have you been streaming? Uh, we are getting up to about 45 minutes in. I am not doing anything I wanted to do tonight. But if any of you actually know me, you know that um, I get very, very, very sidetracked. I'm like, oh, have you seen that thing over there? What thing? Have you seen that? Have you seen that? And then we rush off around there. Watching any of my um, sort of walk-arounds with Jamie, you, you'll notice I'm just... 
scatty is the only word to describe it really um when I started, there was only a few of us builders that posted their work, hoping to inspire people this year around. Yeah. It, yeah, it was about this year. Yeah. And and they... It's, it's so weird how how you can grow, like... I see the repost channels, like, start up, and then suddenly... It's like, which one's this? Oh, well, I remember them when they had, like, four followers or something when they came and took one of my pictures. I don't know. It doesn't stop me. I, I kind of have just accepted it's a way of life on there now. I'll still make post the stuff. Actually building on the stream never. Well, if you did look at last stream, which I think you did because you named the pub, I was um I was happily building away. Terraforming is my, my new... So I like to think of meeting one year now as being um, like a New Year's resolution. Um, I can now go, right, this year I want to get better at terraforming and interiors. And I hope you guys can benefit from all of that. Alright, let's try and tidy up these edges a little bit. How are you guys finding the music tonight anyway? It's a bit of a new blend of really chill stuff. I'm really enjoying listening to it. Uh, what's going on here? Yeah, I'm glad to catch the stream. The main problem with your YouTube is that it's so good and I have to actually pay attention. <laughs> Not one for the half attention while I work and going through. Oh, all right. Ah, thanks for that. That's really nice. Um, yeah, I, I do like to upload my streams because um, people like them as background noise, but they also... I guess it gives people an idea of how I build um, because I'm not very I wouldn't say not very open about it I don't as of yet I haven't made any guides on how to build in these styles yet because I'm still learning so come with me as I teach you um, yeah while we build together um, What's that? Yeah, the, uh, one repost page. Yes. <laughs> they do have their own merch, and it's weird. Like, what? Why? I don't even have my own merch yet on YouTube. I mean, I, I wouldn't mind making posters and stuff, but I need... I kind of want my logo redone again, but not, not changed at all, just refined a little bit. I mean, I might need to take it to Twitter again for that. Oh, I'm definitely getting getting back getting the swing of this now. He says as he just messes that up totally. Um Yeah, seeing it in real time is always revealing. It helps for me when I want, uh, when I see an impressive build in like a 20 minute video. Um, yes, uh, so beyond, yeah. Um, the main reason I like it is because I couldn't be an architect because I can't, like, I, I don't know. I'm very hard at visualizing and drawing things on paper, but I'm getting better at it. For me, Minecraft is just my, my medium. I like to expose my creative ideas and I would also love to specialize in older buildings but as a lot of you know I design very modern things and not not even buildings at all actually um, yeah and I do you know what that is right the, the most annoying thing is when people comment on it and go, oh, that's beautiful. And then the, the person that reposted it goes, yeah, thanks. You know, it's like, oh, you're so talented. Yeah, thank you. It's like, you didn't you didn't build this. It's like, I can't believe how much amazing stuff you have on your site. Like, again, you, you, didn't, you didn't build any of this. It's not your work. Uh, 
Oh well, as long as they're tagging us, it's it's a bit of the battle. Um Oh, that would be even cooler. Yeah, I like that idea, um, Rafen, having having builders' names with, you know, the logo on. And then you can buy your own, well, you can personalize your shirt in the color of, um, the color of the Discord ranks. That'd be pretty cool. Alright, let's try and sort out this lower section. Now, the real reason I'm doing this is because the next episode of Let's Build Wolhampton is going to be the school. And it's going to go up here, so I kind of want to get this area sorted. The, the villas are just like a side project I've been wanting to do for a little while. The the Wolhampton series, I want to, like I said, wrap up, so I'm going to get this going as much as I can. Um... I'm still waiting for someone to show me a repost page that just wants to share the work and not steal the money. Don't know. I'm sure there's some out there. I doubt it. <laughs> um, yeah, like a jersey for a football player. So yeah, yeah, that'd be quite a cool idea. Um... The thing with shaders is, are you going to be playing in it, or are you going to be using it to take screenshots? As you, as you can see, I'm not playing in BSL right now. If I start playing in it, it, it doesn't, you know, it's okay. My computer can handle it, but it's, um, oh god, it's, um, it's quite annoying to build in shaders. I say it can handle it, I'm running at like 40 FPS. Or well, maybe it's time we made our own repost sites that have uh, actual standards and, and we only do it for, for the clout, not the money. Well, this is already looking 10 times better, if not 100 times better. And I'm getting some ideas of what I want to put in here now as well. But yeah, if you guys are only just joining, uh, welcome to the stream. This is a random Tuesday night stream because I felt like doing it and I want to build. So I've got, um, got some landscaping to do tonight and then we're going to finish up in the gardens of one of the new villas I've just started building. That is all. <laughs> that is what we're doing tonight. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to think and read this. I've stopped posting daily um, every other day as it was getting too stressful. Lots of editing work. And most of the time, I would just rush either build or edit. So, I'm in the same boat as you. I got to a point where I was trying to build something every day. Or, you know, post something every day. Or make a YouTube video twice a week. Or, you know, anything like that. It was getting to the point where I wasn't enjoying what I was building. And not just that, I, I really struggled to um, finish a build properly. So I said to myself, right, we're going to slow down. We're going to take it, take it easy. Um, start working um, to, to build more detail into your builds again. And don't rush it. There's no point rushing any of this. It's art at the end of the day.
right that's tied in like that um and nothing creative nothing creative is going to come out of stress and you know it's hard to not want to chase the dragon when it comes to that um i know we all do it always looking for that next adrenaline rush or that next is it a serotonin or an endorphin i think it's endorphins where you get that hit of oh someone's liked my post or Uh, replay mod is good for the stress. It helps me for a lot of builds. I don't want to record. Yeah, well, that's why I do all my stuff with replay mods because, you know, I can I can build when I want to build, and that has always been my way. It it it's just um. My goal, not even my goal. My like mantra is: I need to get a video out on the weekend every week. Now, I have done so for. 50 52 weeks um so there is that but i hate rushing stuff like i'm usually up till two o'clock in the morning trying to get everything finished and ready to go for the next day and that's also while trying to work a job as well Um, the most important thing is to have fun and rushing content is not good. You can see the difference a video where I put more work into it and got the work when I rushed it. Um, yeah, that is true. And if you, if you, any of you guys have watched my like latest bill battle, I didn't rush that. I, I only had like a couple of hours an evening or week uh, last week to do it. I had so much fun building that place. It's just a shame the video didn't do very well. Um, it's up there as one of my most disliked videos, and I'm I am I am shocked. But still, at the end of the day, I had some fun making it. Had a really nice time being with Adela Butterfly and um just uh, collaborating. It was nice. So I, I'm 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 aghast as to why, but at the end of the day, it wasn't tutorial, so I guess that's why. Um, if I set up my own channel and filmed on your server, it would be okay to plug your channel. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I want more content creators on here. I want that. Um, that sort of idea that people are building on here and, and starting to share the world with more and more people. Because it's, it, at the end of the day, it's your content you're making on here. It's just... You know, it gets involved in our stuff as well. Have I messed this up? No, it's looking okay. Apart from those bits. Um, I want to improve my content and my builds with every post, even if it's a bit unreal to improve them. No, I know what you mean, and um, I'm the same. Every video I put out, I try and... One, I try and make it easier for myself to do, while also trying to make it more impressive than the last. I'm never happy with a video unless it's been a passion project. Like the Sway Tower one. Again, what a shame that tanked. Oh well. It doesn't bother me to this day anymore. It's just um, it's hard to read the audience. Um, I had a guy DM me on Insta after I posted a pic of the mill I built in Morton, so I just called, directed him to the Discord. Don't know if he turned up. Uh, might have done. I think, I think a few of them. A lot of people do come from Instagram, which is surprising. Maybe we should um, do a collab in the future. Of course, I am 100% open to doing collaborations. 
obviously doesn't have to be anything Victorian or anything like that we can do whatever I am really really open to building in any style he says openly hating on fantasy Victor <laughs> fantasy medieval doesn't mean I can't build it ironically Um, are you familiar with the town of Farringdon just outside Oxford? I've heard of it. And that's that's probably good enough. <laughs> um, collab with Buffet Bandits. Well, I would love to do that, Sheep. Should we, um, now that I've put my face on, on the old YouTubes again, um, maybe it's time for, for us to go make most of this two-for-one deal on... Well, not even two for one. Is it two for one? The 50% off eat out um, to help out or whatever it is deal that's currently running in the UK. So the government is paying people to go eat in restaurants and pubs and McDonald's and all of that at the moment uh, for Mondays, Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And I don't know if I'm even going to... I might eventually, but I think it's for the whole of August. So it'd be quite a cool idea. Sway Tower tanked. That's a shame. That was the one that brought me to your channel via the Replay Mod Discord. Yes, it was. I remember us talking about that. Uh, great build showcase and a history lesson all in one. Exactly what I was looking for. Yeah, so that's what I like to pride myself on. And, and it, for me, that was, a, that was a real passion project. But hey, you got uh, got to take a few losses to make a win. So from that, I learned... I don't know what I learned. I learned to not care so much there we go collab with green um could do I, I don't know how to get in contact with him like i'm not just gonna hit him up on on, on the twitter going hey you build with me uh i need i need some clout first before i can do that um do you want to see my victorian house I, I i mean i'm excited to see your victorian house um Be an interesting one to see how your take is on it. Um, I built it back in March. Oh, nice! If you invited, if you were invited to Hermitcraft, would you join? Yes. Although I don't know if, if if that many people from one county can probably be in Hermitcraft. I think I would be in competition with Mumbo. Um, might have I put the link from IG here? No, go ahead. No problem. I'm not. A, I'm not. I mean, we're openly talking about everything and anything tonight, so I'm not gonna not gonna stop you from posting them. Um, posting that. Go ahead. We're all in the same. We're all in the same team. Let's say. Right. We're gonna keep that like that is there. Um, yeah. I mean, there's some serious mixed messages coming from Bojo. Eat healthier scheme also encourage us to eat out. Yeah. Yeah, well, as long as you eat out and get on your bike, it'll be fine. So as long as you ride your bike to McDonald's and then ride your bike to KFC and then ride it across the road to Burger King, you'll be perfectly fine. Yes, I know Mumbo and Green are friends, yes. Oh, that's a lovely house, Random Builder. Should we, should we show it off? Oh, hang on, I'm on the wrong screen. There we go. lovely stuff yeah it definitely captures that second empire feel um, again I do like second empire houses and I mean I, I, yeah that's lovely I've shown yours off now let's show mine off <laughs> I really enjoy building this one I don't, why am I showing you this I can go look at it properly but I liked making the renders like this it was um pretty cool just to get the light on it like that but yeah, anyway, let's. Oh, there we go. That's that. Anyway, what were we talking about? Um... Yeah, that's um, Second Empire. That is. Um, that's the main sort of American Victorian house you would see. Uh, we've got a new warp opening up on here for Community Town uh, to build those ones. Uh, over in, let's pause this up, 
Irvington. I think well, I might as well show it off. I mean, we were in the air the other day for a video. Um. Oh, I posted some updates of my city hall in show your build discussion. I would love to get some advice from the master himself. Wow, that's a lovely um, lovely thing to say. I'm random, random builder MC. Ah, welcome back to the server. Um, okay, let's have a quick look at this then. Ooh, that is rather tasty. So what is your color scheme you've gone for here? Do you mind if I share it on here? You prefer English builds. I also prefer English builds as well. Um, but I do have a sweet spot for American Victorian houses. Well, I'll look at it in two seconds then. I mean, just look at it. It's lovely, isn't it? It's very odd. Oh, oh no, it is still there. Um, I need to put that in storage. Um, but yes, I think that's one that Dweebs has built. Lovely thing. I need to copy over the other two I've done in my test world. But I do... Ah, this warped wood. It looks really good. Dweebs, you've done such a sick job with that. Ah, oh, let's not show that off too much. I don't know if he's shown it off yet. But, yeah. Anyway, that's the... um. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at there. Anyway, let's go back. Accept the TP. Oh. Did you what, what did you want to look at? <laughs> did you want to look at the other place? This is just sand. <laughs> um, the walls, a bone block, mushroom stem. Okay, let's have a quick squiz at that then. So it's nice. I like it. So this is the Philadelphia City Hall, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's a good shape you've got going there. Uh, are you building it one to one, or are you going for the White Bergen scale of one to one point five? I, I like how I've coined that. That's now my scale. Um, is this on your phone? Oh, okay. No, you're just building it on there. Um, yeah, I like it. You've you've got good good proportions going. Be interesting to see what it looks like with the windows in there, and obviously once you get the roof on, it will look good. So yeah, um, polite whale shark. I think you got to a good start there. Yeah, it's a very nice build. Um, obviously, if you want to have a look at it in full more detail, come on to our Discord and have a go. Ooh. Anyway, I'm just squizzing around there again. Thank you. No worries. Right, I'm going to take a quick break. We'll be back in about five minutes. Just need to go close my curtains and that. All right, speak to you guys in a second.
Right, I'm back. Bit of a quicker break. Um, so we've got some questions here in the chat. Is Minecraft hard to run on a big server like this one? Um, ish. Uh, so the server has the render distance limited to, I think I've set it to 20. So you can't see anything further than 20 blocks, which is a little bit annoying. But if we upped it at all, the server would really start to chug away in the background and not love life at all. Um, in terms of client side, yeah, I think I think there's a lot to load in constantly, and it does take a really big toll on your processor after a while. My PC isn't amazing, um, but it does it does the job quite well. Um, yeah, it, it, there's trade-offs. If you want to build in a big city like this. Or the big server like this, it's um, there is going to be some performance issues. Right, should we jump back on for a bit? I'm not even looking at it. Um, let's try and get this area through here filled up now. Uh, we can come back through and add this road back in later on. What were we discussing before I left? Um, can't remember now. We were talking about Second Empire houses, yes. Um, I do love them, they seem to be the where the market's going. Where the market's always been I, I i feel that real victorian buildings that i like to build the english ones i haven't actually done many of them so i can't try and you know force them upon people just yet um but we're gonna get there that's gonna be the legacy of this channel to have english buildings overtake those american second empire houses we will get some love um, yeah, I run on the laptop. Uh, I get 40 frames with shaders, so I don't feel it that much. Yeah, that's that's about what I get. Um, for me, I like playing without shaders on because I'm... What's that? Anywhere between 200 and 100. With Obviously, when you're placing sand, it drops a little bit. Well, that doesn't seem to be too bad. I prefer the silky smooth performance wise without shaders on while building. Also you get a nicer effect when you um Yeah, I know, four MS builds there. He builds the most out of anyone on the server and he's there sort of building in seven frames per second. It's like what how? How are you, how are you doing this? I, I would have I would have given up at some point. I don't know if I even want that road there. Let's say no to that road. If this channel takes off MS builds, if if we really start making it big and the ad revenue starts, you know, coming in and it's thick and fast. Um I will buy you a brand new state-of-the-art computer laptop thing that you can sit here and play it in glorious VSL shaders at a thousand frames per second because you you deserve it, man. You you need you need that goodness in your life. Just as a as a thank you for how much you've built. I run on 15 FPS usually. Ouch. That's. I remember those days. Well, it's so laggy and it takes about three minutes to turn shaders on. <laughs> I literally get angry if it takes me longer than, I don't know, five seconds to turn shaders on. Anyway, I promised Villa building. Um, Villa is building. Um, I will hold you to that. You should do. I'm, I'm being deadly serious. If I can, if, if, if the channel takes off, um, you'll be the first to reap the rewards of that 
you've uh, you give me the motivation to carry on with all of this. Uh, the lag is so painful. I'm getting a new laptop soon. Yeah. Lag is painful. <laughs> right, so we're building up here because we're going to have a bridge. The aptly named Bridge Street has two bridges on it. I know, crazy stuff. Uh, imagine the progress I can make with a decent PC. Maybe we shouldn't give you a new PC. We got to keep you um keep you down a little bit so the rest of us can actually build on the server without without the land being um overrun. Um, it's on my work PC, but I was while I was waiting for some drawings to load earlier on today. I was actually drawing up a long distance map of Hampwickshire, uh, giving everyone, well, giving myself an idea of where all the roads are going to go. Um, so I'll have to share that in Discord tomorrow when I get back on my work PC. But it was, um, it was quite an extensive network. Um, What's this? Well, if the laptop is actually built for gaming, it's usually pretty good. But if it's some old laptop, it's terrible. Yeah, if it has integrated graphics on it, it's useless, to say the least. So what does a civil engineer do? Well, a civil engineer um, designs and builds and plans everything that a person needs in their everyday life. So let me explain. So what I do is I, I design airports. So I design the aprons, the areas, the actual aircraft use, taxiways, runways, um, stands, that sort of thing. So my job is taking that from like just a concept to actually making it work, making sure aircraft can fit in places. Um, and then from that we develop um, pavement designs and equipment uh, setting out sections and paint markings and all of that and then it goes and gets built so you know um, and another sort of job that civil engineer would do is design railways or bridges or roads you know it's, it's all the infrastructure stuff and you know also buildings and that as well but that's not my cup of tea or not my forte Oh. oh right, really? What's his favourite airport? Any major airports we would know? Um... Don't know which ones I can actually talk about. Uh, Schiphol in the Netherlands is one that I did when I started about three years ago. I think that's been built. Manchester. Okay, yep. Uh, I do know that one. Then you got obviously the freight hub, the East Midlands Airport as well. Um, I 
I mean, Manchester Airport, it, it, yeah, it's, it's all right. It's got two runways, or is it going to... I can't remember if it's going to get a second one or not. Yeah, it's definitely one of those ones that require a bit more investment. It's a good airport. It's well used. Um, first time I've seen you live in ages. Yes, hello, welcome back. I know, it's. Uh, I've, I've had a little bit of a break. I've just been... Evenings have not been kind to me in order to get on here. So it's been it's been good just to get back on and chat with you guys, actually. It's nice, really nice. Um, how's it been balancing your full-time job with also editing videos and building in your... <laughs> There is no balance. It's um, <laughs> every day is just not struggle. Every day is a challenge as to how I can get things done. Now I'm the type of person that doesn't like not finishing a project once I've started it. So even through work, this you know I've been working up to about half seven, half six, seven this week, just to get some stuff finished for people. So it's the same for YouTube. The, the balance comes in how much do I want to sleep um, and how I think my, my builds take a beating in terms of their quality when it when it gets bad in the sense of when timings ultimately if I hadn't been growing so well I would have stopped because it's um, it's quite the commitment I like how I spent nearly an hour doing this. We do need to go back to building in a second. Yes, they are currently renovating Terminal 2 at Manchester. Manchester's definitely one of those airports I, I think needs to take a lot of the passengers away from the London hubs. Um, this country is too dependent on the London based airports. But I, I, I think after after the whole virus um, pandemic has started to ease, we'll start seeing a complete change in the way that aviation works anyway. So airports are going to have to adapt to just, uh, they already are adapting as to how to work with this. But in terms of like, people won't be traveling the same way they used to. And we're going to have to try and figure out how airports can manage that. Uh, currently only draws Northwest. Yes, um, yeah, it's because of the infrastructure around it. I know HS2 is very controversial and people aren't all in favour of it, but once once it gets built and once phase two gets started, the the idea is it will connect in Manchester Airport and, uh, and or is Manchester Airport on phase one? I can't remember. But anyway, HS2 is going to help bring people to Manchester Airport. So we'll see. We'll see how that all goes. Right, anyway, that's a bit of landscaping done. I'm just going to paint over the cracks. Never be too afraid to put too much green down. God. So, Bob Ross is like on BBC4 these days, doing his, his thing. And my um my great nan's been watching him a lot. And I went around to see her the other day. And just, just watched it on telly with her. And I was just like, wow, this is... It's so interesting to watch because you, you turn away for like a second and he's put some trees in somewhere and it's he's got a knife out and he starts scraping away at it and it's beautiful. Um, but yeah. So that's what I like in this too. Although it's not really as detailed nor as pretty. But um, Yeah, I like it. I like this this, this comfortable size. I think it's it's nice chatting to people. Uh, I do question how I would do it in the future when 
we do get more and more people on. I think I would get get people sitting in our Discord in the actual chat and we could talk that way. Um, Bob Ross is part of my childhood. Uh, Bob Ross had finished before I was born, so I I don't really don't really connect to him, but I know enough of the memes again. But anyway, welcome back, JD. How's it going? I'm amused by people who re recreate Bob Ross paintings in Minecraft by making the scenery and talking and taking a screenshot. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I I just love his pictures and the way he just talks and describes things. Oh, it's so comfortable. You can just sit there and, and listen in awe. I think I said to my mum about it. She was like, "That nah, is boring, isn't it?" I was like, "Oh, okay." Oh yeah, uh, that it all needs to go. Happy little clouds. Let's put some sticks in down here by the river. Don't want to put too many in though. Now we need to give this tree a friend. Oh, the way he paints water as well. Oh, it's incredible. We've um we've got like a board game of his. Um, so it's a bit like Pictionary, but not. And you've got to like rate people's work on you know out of three Bob Rosses, I think it is. But I don't know how to explain it. It's just it's just a, a happy little game. Um, that's exactly how he talks. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I know, I know. He's, um, yeah. So, you know, we don't, we don't want to put too many, too many bushes in here, but you can just put a few in, just like that. Now let's mix up some browns and put them, put them down over here. Uh, Bob Ross was an inspiration point we had to study in GCSE. Ah, oh, that's pretty cool. Um, oh my goodness, I hate that the biomes change the grass shade. Yes. Welcome to the world of Whiteberg, where the biomes are just changing every five seconds. Uh, we need to figure out that in a second, but... Yeah, he's, um... He truly is just... It's amazing, like a timeless... Timeless celebrity, but unfortunately he is no longer with us. Which is sad. Uh, don't come to my town then. Have we not figured out what's going on with the change biomes thing? Has it not has it not been working? I need to see if there's an update for world edit yet. Um But yeah, I, I would say this is this is how I like to stream, just by interacting with you guys there's no point hiding away from the from the chat it's not like I'm doing anything <laughs> but yeah who here um watched my one year on YouTube uh, special uh, that that for me was one of my favorite sort of videos to make I really I do like being on camera um, and if I look back at my old stuff, you can just see how different it all is. Ah, Carter, hello there. Uh, not yet. That's cool. Yep. Yeah. Maybe with the new 1.15 generation features, if you create a new world in the future, you can have better control over the landscape and colors. Yeah. So if I told you this world was created in 1.1, 1 1.96, how would you how would you judge me? Um, are you going to be filming tomorrow for the server? Yes, I will be on tomorrow to build to film the server update. Um, I built my dock in. Oh yeah, that's that's a good idea, Sean. Yeah, in the swamp. Um, that's great. Yeah, so all because I wanted to keep this town. Anyway, it. It's, it's fixable. We can just work with it. We'll, we'll figure out what to do. I would like to learn to build some Victorian style houses. For whatever reason, they look pretty cool. I don't know how to do them. Are we talking American Victorian or... Or anything else? Yeah, everyone... 
that, I, I like how builders are getting scared by this. There's no point in worrying too much. I know you guys like to show off what you've built and that. The server update is just a way to say like welcome to you guys and, and put it on, on record that you're here and, and building away. And give everyone an understanding that there is a bit more going on on the server. Um, do I play any other games apart from this and SimCity? Uh, if I had the time, I would love to play playing Transport Fever 2. Um, uh, which is something I haven't played yet, really. I, I played the first one to death and loved it. I like my Tycoon games, and especially when you can build from 1850 up into the modern day with railways, mainly as your thing. That is just the game that was designed for me. So the second one came out, I played about maybe half a day of it. It's good, I just haven't had the time. I would love to do a series on it. I, I tried when it first came out to do a video on it, but I was too too early on in the stage of YouTube still to really push that. I'm amazed at my Sim City video. It's nearly got 10,000 views. It's crazy. Anyway, um, I would like to also play um, what's the word? Uh, Europa Universalis. That's another game that I love to play. Did do a stream on it recently. I say recently. Was that months ago? What month are we in now? August. Anyway, um, I've played a lot of SimCity 4. Who hasn't? It's one of my favourite months, yeah. <laughs> it is one of my favourite games. Uh, it possibly is my favourite game. Shh, Minecraft's watching. Um, but, yeah, like, still, it's, um, it's one of those timeless classics. Um, Hell, Let Loose. It's a phenomenal game. I definitely recommend. Uh, yeah, I, I think what I would want... Ultimately, the goal is this YouTube channel is not going to be... What's the word? I'm not going to be, like, 100% playing Minecraft all the time. For me, it's a way of just getting out my passions on screen. That sounds bad, but but you know what I mean. Showing, showing the world what I like to do. And I like all things building and simulation. So, you know what? I would even play The Sims, the original one, not any of the new ones. I miss SimCity 2000. I feel like I didn't have as much direct control in the later versions. Um, I think SimCity 4 is probably the climax of it. The, the, the more recent SimCity, ugh, what a disgusting game. Um, and then obviously Sim build it, or Sim City build it. Oh, what a money grabber! Um, but City Skylines is the sort of successor, and I, I have dabbled in it. I say dabbled, spent many many hours playing it. Just haven't recently. Need to do it a bit more. There's a lot more assets on there that I could be using to make lovely Victorian towns now. Uh, Sims 5, yeah, Sims 65 looked terrible. I played Sims 1, 2, 3, and uh, I liked 2 the most. Everyone says they like 2 the most. I liked 3, but I also love 1. Now, 1 was my gateway into playing games. So, the, I remember when I was about 7, and I was staying around my dad's house, and I would get up at like 2 o'clock in the morning once everyone had gone to bed, and sit downstairs on his, on his computer, and play The Sims throughout the entirety of the night until people started waking up in the morning. And I'd be like, oh yeah, I just came down about six because they wouldn't get out of bed early. So I'd been on there for like eight, nine hours before I then decided to stop. But yeah, it's crazy. Minecraft and Kerbal Space Program. Kerbal Space Program. Now that's a game I haven't heard about for a very long time. I liked it. I did. I really liked it. I remember playing the beta of it back in 2012 or 2013. Good fun. And I really enjoy making the the idea of trying to make yourself go to the moon and then even further afield is just so much it's so much fun and tweaking and just working out different rocket shapes and designs.
again, time. If, if I could do YouTube full time, I would play so many different games as well. Um, Kerbal Space Program is popular as ever. Uh, very fun. Yes, it is, isn't it? It is, yeah. My current go-to is Contrakest Reforged. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, what I liked about Sims 2 is that you can play every family for free. You leave one family for another and you lose control of them. True. Um, also, on a side note of The Sims 2 again, I used to play Sims 2 on my PlayStation 2. And I liked that because it was different. It was more of a, a third-person driven adventure game. Like The Sims Herbs, if you ever played that as well. Um, I, I liked the aspect of that. It was a bit, bit different. Um, uh, yes. I swear I'm going to put that TNT in that hole of that thing. Oof. Don't be doing that now. So guys, what you've seen me doing today. Right. I will just quickly be back in about five minutes. Um, let the music keep you company. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. I believe the word spooks was moderated for some reason. Um, yeah, don't know why. <laughs> Very weird one. Um, but what was I saying? Uh, yes, I had a, a Game Boy Advance SP was my first handheld console. But 
yeah, it was it was always PC games that got me into just gaming. Right, we'll probably carry on for another hour or so, see what we get into. Um, seeing what's going on on the Discord, anything interesting? People, people sad they're missing one out. Um, I tried sending it and it only just let me. Yeah, okay, that's probably why it probably picked up as spam or something. Don't know. Um, but yeah, okay, right, let's carry on. Thank you guys for sticking around. Um, I never watched Spooks. Um, can't say I had any knowledge of it. But that is that. Um, what are we doing here? Is this whole thing going to be leveled out like this? Yes. Uh, small screams. Oh, what? Well, because they use the word spook inappropriately. Ah, uh, makes sense. I mean, over here in this disc, in this Discord, in this channel, we don't do anything inappropriate. Although I do seem to be without a mod these days, so if anyone wants to pick up that gauntlet, just let me know and we can have you added to the thing. You want to be mod? Okay, I'll let you be mod then, Carter. That was that was the only requirement, just to say you wanted to be. <laughs> and you are here for for every um every stream anyway. So I'm gonna add you as a friend, which I haven't done yet. Block? I don't want to block you. I don't know if I can do it in here. Probably can't do it in here. I will leave school off levels. What? Yeah, I can I can add you both actually. It'd be nice to have a couple of people on. One from the UK, one from across the pond. Yeah. Just in case I decide to stream at random times today. I've really messed this up. So wait, you don't finish your A-levels until 2023. Damn. It's like almost 10 years after I did mine. Open this contour up a little bit and bring this one down a bit more. Landscaping with WBC builds. Coming to you from a nice late Tuesday night with some chilling music. Music, music in the background. Stick with us until the early hours. People are leaving left, right, and center because they can't handle the smooth jazz. You haven't even got jazz on. What are you saying? I don't know anymore. Um, music. <laughs> I've not even finished my GCSEs. Well, well, I'm off. Got some work to do. Nice one. Well, thanks for popping by, JD. Nice to see you around. Um, and music, yes. That's how I like to say it down here. In the south. Uh, I always feel like that I should have been born earlier. Jazz is chill, though. I do like smooth jazz. 
or electric swing is also another one I like, but that's that, that's really jazz, nor nor smooth. I think as we've discussed before, people thought I was um a lot older as well. But nah mate. Just a nineties baby. Tie it in here and give it a bit of a paint in a second. And then we go do the. That's not what I wanted to do. Um. I prefer 80s rock. Well, that's that's always a one to go for. I prefer the current drum and bass scene. And no, um, I like 80s rock. Pink Floyd's pretty good as well from, you know, early 70s. Prog rock stuff. I think jazz just works in certain situations, really. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it on as a go-to... I'm now going to listen to some jazz. It's just there as background music. Depends on depends on what you're doing. Like these lo-fi beats in the background, they're pretty chill. I like this sort of stuff. I I wasn't alive in the '80s, but I still like the music. I mean, I don't really remember the '90s, but yeah. I mean, while in Rome, we might as well do this. And we're coming to you for live from Wolverhampton. It's smooth jazz all night long. We're taking out this hill here in Mount Pleasant, just just chilling, chilling with a bit of smooth jazz. Now, some is it Kenny G? Is he? Do he play jazz? I know he likes. Is that a saxophone? What am I trying to say? Nineties were the best. Celtic rock, with all of those pubs. Um, yeah, bit of Celtic rock, bit of a bit of an Irish folk band in there. Ah, oh, come on, this bridge needs to go. What are we doing with this lake? I've never liked this lake. Always been a nuisance. Be gone, lake. Be gone. Um, there's always been too much water in Wolverhampton. Oh, I cannot stand pop music from the current period. But I do like, I do like rave music. Um, you like rap? Um, I do like some rap. I like I, I like R and B a bit better. Anything smooth? Anything chill? Anything with a dark undertone? That's my sort of go-to. I like to be a bit edgy. How are we looking at the map right now? Ooh, that's a lot of yellow.
Yes, yes, yes. This is working perfectly. So this is the high point. And then breaks down. This becomes a low point over here. And builds back up to an even higher point. Love it. But I really must must get to... Oh my god. Okay. I mean, I saw so I saw Duran Duran live at Best of All uh, on the Isle of Wight maybe five years ago now, and they weren't terrible, they weren't amazing, but I knew all the songs, so I guess I like Duran Duran. But what's that, Rathan? Uh, I'm the youngest builder on the server, or do you not know? No, I, I think we knew your age. I mean, I, I, I knew you were not that old. Now hopefully, I'm emphasizing that hopefully I'll be the youngest. Um, well, we do have an age limit of nobody under the age of 13, or no one 13 or under. But I think, I think situations can be taken into account where maturity is obviously of a higher standard to those that understand what we're doing here. Christ, that's a lot of sand. But what if I'm like 18 but think like a 7 year old? Then we would also take that into account and you would not be allowed to build. <laughs> yeah, 15's fine. I think I think we have a couple of people around that age. There's nothing wrong with that age. That's um that's a, you know, I think that's that's how old I was when I started playing Minecraft. Twenty eleven? Yeah, twenty eleven, yeah, fifteen. Um, it depends on when you were born, I guess. What? <laughs> uh, what? Okay. I've, yeah, I think you're making a joke, but I also thought you were making some sort of profound statement there. I was like, hang on. Look at the finished areas. I joined it late. Oh, um, yeah, we've been doing some landscaping. It's all, it's all getting in nicely. Um, everything's hideous here. Don't look. What I'm doing in is just filling in this, this, um, this lake that's sat here for the entirety of the time. This is why I need to leave Wolverhampton and leave it alone because I'm just going to destroy it with changing of ideas. I watched back um, my mayor's massive mansion time lapse the other day. Cringeworthy. That's all I can say. It's crazy to think how far I've come in a few months from doing videos like that. Um, why not just replace Sam with water? Because we are just we we're just sitting here chilling and I'm in I'm in no rush to fill this hole in I also wasn't intending to fill this whole hole in but it's it's now happened so we're gonna have to come to terms with it at some point but the mayor's garden is now much larger much more enclosable um, I say I act older than I... Uh, yes, I remember I, I thought the other day you were, like, older than me. Which then went to shock you, I think. Right, let's get this all chunked away. Oh, it feels good to do some, some actual 
landscaping after thinking about it all day. Uh, I saw the FPS drop when you looked down at the town, lol. Um, yeah, it's just loading it in for the first time. Also, it may just be the falling sand as well. Someone once said you're in your 50s. Mate, you're, you're what, 15? <laughs> I don't think you can take that as a compliment. I think that's an insult. There's acting mature and then there's... um Taking away your youth. Um, low, it happened a lot. Okay. Oh, I don't know what I'm, don't know what I'm doing. I'm making that a different level. Let's bring it all up to the same level. Um, uh, what's that? I mean, I think you do have to be quite mature to build in this style. Mm. I think it's, I think, I think with this style, it comes a sort of a type of person. You have to be somewhat interested in architecture. I think Carter's just put it quite well. Yeah, it's, yeah. It, it's not everyone's cup of tea um, and I think I think we're learning that more and more uh, age doesn't matter when it comes to building but yes that is, that is true I have some beautiful American Victorian buildings near me and I'm planning on building them in MC in the future lovely stuff as I say I am quite partial to them they are nice um, they're just not my um, they're not what I want to impart on this world but they seem to be the only videos that do well in terms of building, so. you got to take the wins when you get them. It's technically unimpressive stuff. Yeah, in, in, in the grand terms of what Minecraft is and what the builders, you know. It's hard to build something unimpressive yet beautiful. Unremarkably, un, unremarkably beautiful. It's all about those oxymorons. What were we even saying? Right. Um, but certain build styles require some research, and people might not know where to start. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm really tempted to do like a inspiration series where I sit down, talk to the camera, and discuss buildings that I've enjoyed looking at this week. Although it sounds very, very anorak and very much I would get berated by people that know me if I started doing that. But to me, that would be a nice sort of way of, of taking the channel. To sit there and go, well, this week I've I've been quite interested in this road in, in, in Torquay. And <laughs> I've been looking at these villas and they've been... I don't know. I don't know. Would you guys watch something like that? Christ, what are we doing with this? Yeah, I know. The, the whole question of building with mods and that as in blocks that don't exist in vanilla minecraft i just i just can't i love the i love the challenge of making a building like this out of just blocks we have in this game uh glad to stop by got to go looking forward to some real time to watch more of your videos ah oh, great stuff well thank you damn bear pig that means a lot um oh i need feedback on this build but it's for a competition 
I hate that when that happens. That's what happened last week to me. I mean, I can't come over there either because so I'm mid midway through a stream and you'll be like, don't, don't show it off to the world. I mean, uh, to be honest, I, I think I will do it. I think I will start a, you know, it wouldn't be a weekly, it'd be like once a month, maybe just this month. I've been really interested in these styles. What's quite interesting. Uh, because I, I don't just, you know, I do a lot of research and stuff. Hell, I even, like, buy books on it. and So, yeah. Oh, yeah, vanilla is definitely better for getting the style across to more and more people. Um, as you probably know, I did used to build in Flows HD, and a lot of this town bears the scars of that. But building and obviously in, in vanilla opens it up to everyone being able to build on it. Plus it just looks cooler. Um, look at my message highlighted. I uh, used Conquest. We thought Swans is cool. But now it's to the point where it's way too many blocks and doesn't feel like Minecraft. Yes, exactly that. Exactly that. It's the same with like chisels and bits and whatever. Yes, it's pretty cool what people can do with that, but it's not, at the end of the day, it's not Minecraft. Um, I've grown to hate Flows HD. I think because I started using it back in 2014, um, it was the new sort of idea of, of using texture packs in Minecraft because you wanted your town to look more realistic. Now I just, uh, I don't like it. It's too modern for what I wanted. Is Lord Darkar still going? Wow, I remember watching him about five years ago. Yeah, I mean, of course you can talk about... This place is a safe space for talking about building and, and all things YouTube. Please don't feel like you can't mention other content creators. I'm, I'm not the type of person that goes, oh... Don't go follow them because follow me instead. What's the point? You're not going to do that. So chat away. Um, we can talk about building. <laughs> Once I built a... I'm not reading that on there. Gherkin's rights. All right. You can't talk about Gherkin's rights. <laughs> Uh, exactly, you can't really build in this style with a texture pack. Uh, it looks so modern. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I mean, Sway Tower, there is definitely... Um, there's definitely something about it that may or may not resemble a, a, a member. But but we'll, we'll, we'll leave it at... It was unintentional. <laughs> you know this looks like a shaft. Well... Well, maybe. Also, has the music stopped? I don't know. It's just come to the end of the song. Right, there we go. I'm currently playing Survival again, and I have played Survival properly since the end was added. Wow, okay. Even I've played it since then. Um, nice. How's that going, then?
So here's a possibly, a, a, I don't know if it's unpopular opinion, but here's an opinion. I don't think I'm going to be able to grow as big as I want to because I don't want to play survival as much because I like to play creative more. What do you guys think on that? Um, resource gathering bores me, but also, yeah, that's my main thing. Imagine starting off SP. The uh, that's a great idea. I I really have been looking for getting a group of like-minded people together, and so far it seems all the um sort of SMPs for there's no one for SMPs our size. UBU, yeah. I, I honestly think I found the right people to be around. I think I'm over that sort of that hump stage of trying just to get into people's minds. I'm definitely um Definitely on that on that growth now. Hopefully, um, I mostly played multiplayer or creative plot servers. Yeah, I. Uh, if if it was a SMP where I had other content creators on there as well, I, I would be happy to play it because it's, you know, one it's a good way to get the community growing, and two it's it can be a bit of fun because we're just playing straight up survival solo stuff. Maybe, maybe I do like a, let's build a, a English village in survival. But to me, it's it's gonna bore me. I'm not gonna do all the farms and all of that. But I I, I could I could be persuaded with a with an SMP with other content creators. Oh, thanks, Random. That's a very kind thing to say. Um, I like your style as well. <laughs> oh, you know, what? I can't wait to build a school now. Um, I don't think not doing survival will stunt your growth. Kronos is famous for creative stuff. Oh, yeah, exactly. Um, again, yeah, I'm I'm never gonna like say, you know, we need to be as big as Hermitcraft. And I think um, Azuma said a really good thing about it the other day, where it was like, I think it was after Fwip ended up like taking a break from Legacy because people just keep attacking him for trying to be Hermitcraft. It's just like, come on, guys, these people are just having fun with their friends and. Why you gotta be so mean and toxic? Or we start a whole new thing and create a a creative multiplayer server and we build towns together. And we, we, we get content creators on and we all build towns and cities and houses inside each other's towns and cities and have big building contests. But also have like fun in games and and little build battles and that. I, I, I think we need to break the mold, guys. I think we need to we need to make creative Minecraft more fun. More accessible to all. We need to make creative Minecraft the thing of twenty twenties. This decade is ours. 
Now someone highlight that. Um, are you playing on the Mac? No. No, I'm not playing on the Mac. I play on the PC. Yes, they did, and and he's rightfully so because, unfortunately, it is, you know, that 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 that, that fan base, but and and it's not you know it's 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 so sad that people who all love the same game have to. I feel sorry for the hermits in that sense. They're held to be the be all to end all sort of. Where, in actual fact, they are just a group of people having fun together. Uh, Ooh, what's this? Wow, that's crazy. Oh, I hate it when people do that. I just wanted to be accepted. Don't go around stealing stuff. In real life, you have to work for what you want. Patience is earned and patience is gained by practice but you can't and I know this from, from you know doing YouTube before you can't just go in and go well I'm going to be big today because I made this one video yes it happens sometimes and yes some people are lucky but what I'm doing is I'm growing something from the base up and surely that's stronger than having a flash in the pan moment like some people do Anyway, what are we reading over here? Speaking of whip, his texture pack is great. Good mix of vanilla with some different textures. I believe he calls it vanilla plus. Yeah, I, 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 I don't doubt that for a second. Um, for me, I, I don't like using someone else's texture pack. That's just I would make my own sooner than than use someone else's. Why do I keep doing that? It's because it's late and you're tired. Well, people shouldn't be having such good conversations with me. Um, right, good for my legal start. My friend is so impatient. Sometimes he was bugging. Yes, yes. I was just out and about, enjoying a nice day playing Pokemon, and I was just being um, lambasted by matey boy wanting to be whitelisted and I was like nope not, not having this um, yeah I, I do think it is a case of people just don't care how long something takes or how much time and effort has gone into it and then they just go oh this is mine now yeah don't do that I'm all for people taking ideas and inspirations but I, I do like to um, I do like to come down hard on when people blatantly rip off a build because you've not you've not done this for you know just if you're doing it for yourself and just sitting there in your own world with it with your friends or whatever fine i can't police that i can't control that i you know i don't care but when you start posting it around on social media claiming it's yours at that point you're now trying to earn something from it and that has now become stolen yeah um i i i 
I do have the new mantra of live and let live when it comes to people going, oh, this is a great build. How did you build it? I can, I, I'm happy to do tutorials and all of that. But it's when it's something that's not a tutorial and, and it's popped up somewhere else because people have gone, well, I'm going to have this as mine now. Ah, well, I'm sorry about that, um, Beyond, but yeah, it was a bit, it just was a bit much. I mean, as I said, I, I am happy to have my DMs open because I like to chat to people. I like people to feel like I'm approachable, but, but, but not, not harassment like that. Um, yes, and I also... So with tutorials, I am I only ever really make them if it's a build I'm happy to share and happy for people to use as a way of like a gateway into getting into this style. Fine by me. But I'm never gonna do it for stuff like um you know, I'm I could possibly do it for this house. Because that'd be again a nice way for people to get into the style. But something like my train station, I would never do a tutorial on. Maybe this house? Would you guys watch a tutorial on this house? Um, yes, and, and that's another thing. Giving credit. If you blatantly steal something and then just go, oh, but, you know. Yeah, if you don't give credit, then that's even worse. Um, We just have to be careful, you know. I think it's okay with our style at the moment because not that many people are building in it, so it's a kind of case of we aren't seeing too many people stealing it. But um, there was someone in our Discord who was just uh, who rebuilt my train station and using it as a museum or something, or not a museum. I can't remember what they were saying. They were use it for like the front of an amusement park. That was it. And I said to them. Look, I'm okay with you, you know, taking inspiration, but you've literally copied it block for block. And they were like, oh. Um, yeah, you can't tutorial like an entire block. No. And, um, and, and people need to understand that I don't want to give them tutorials and everything. Because why should I? Go learn it yourself. But unfortunately, and I think everyone who does YouTube knows this, tutorials are huge money spinners. Um, they will bring in the views, they will bring in the subs. And it's, it's, it is a great way of getting people into the channel. I'm never going to not do tutorials. I will just do them when I'm happy to do them. <laughs> Thou shalt not upset, Wabbeth. Exactly, so people aren't building in it, um, but they will. I mean, we've already found and started converting people. But it's, um, it's a case of as soon as you see a building pop up that's in this style, and it's not by someone I know. I then have to start racking my brains as to whether I've seen it before. Especially if it's looking very familiar to one of my builds. The uh, thing with tutorials is we are happy when we see someone rebuilding. Yeah. No, and, and that's exactly that. They don't. They shouldn't claim it as theirs. Um, I had some people after my last tutorial, my my second empire, the the big house of the jungle wood. After that one, um, recently I've had about five or six people post some private messages to me on Instagram saying, you know, 
this is amazing thank you for this here's here's my recreation of it and it's 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 genuinely made me so happy that people have spent time doing that like i get very bogged down in all the numbers and all of all of the youtube statistics and analytics and that um and you look at it and go okay so most people are only watching four minutes of this video bearing in mind i think it's 40 minutes long so I'm like, maybe people aren't really building it. But when, when just a few people are out there building it, it's like, oh, this is really nice. Thank you, guys. Um, definitely do not ever make a world download. <laughs> no. I, 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 no. People always ask me, they're like, oh, can you, can you, can I get a world download? I'm like, what, or this? It's like half built. Why, why would you even want, oh, I want to walk around. If you want to walk around, come join our Discord. Stay there for two weeks. Be active. Then you can look around. You do know this world's five and a half gigabytes big so far. And it takes me 20 minutes to download it. Whenever I want to do a render. Or back it up. It's an absolute nightmare. Yeah, I, I, exactly. There is too many reasons against putting downloads out. I wouldn't even put up the downloads for my tutorials. Because if you want to build it, you got to put in the time. Let me go and load more chunks, please don't. <laughs> the world actually is, I believe, about 20 kilometers. No, 20,000 blocks or 20,000 blocks. It could be more now, but it used to be about 14 by 14. Um, now I just want to look around AK okay, still. Yes, I know. That's why the server is no longer open to everyone. We only have it open to those that we actually have actively on Discord. Which I think is a great way of doing it. Control like that is, is what we wanted. Or what I wanted. Um, if you ever want to look around the world, join the server and spend time. It is 20, yeah. I mean, when you say 20 kilometers, you don't really think of it as that much. You know, cities can be 20 kilometers across, maybe. Actually, no, they can't. I don't think they have been. But anyway, um, that's huge. We're talking, if you wanted to walk that, that would take you a couple of hours. Of in-game, of real lifetime, just walking from one side of this map to the other. We should do that. We should do a charity stream one day. Walk Whiteberg. Ah, oh, it's even got a title. With alliteration. That's why I'm the ideas man, guys. Um, incredible how people think it's okay to still hours of work and really upload it in minutes and make profit off it. Don't. It makes me so angry. Yeah, that's because you were like active on here. You literally were sitting here chatting away for four hours. That's more dedication than it's worth. Oh, do you know what? I forgot how much I love streams.
Also, the title of this is never going to be Villa Building. When I put it up on YouTube, it's going to be Terraforming 101 Forever with WBC Builds. Oh, thanks for that, Rafe. And that's. Do you know what? They've they've cheered me up today. It's been a pretty solid day of just slogging around, and I've kind of been looking forward. To, I had it in the back of my head all day, going, "All right, I'll stream tonight." But I didn't want to get anyone's hopes up, so I sort of just said 20 minutes before I was going to stream. But they're actually a really nice way just to sit and chat with you guys. Because I'm going to be playing Minecraft anyway, so. Might as well chat. Right, so anyway, what I'm doing here is I'm just bringing the ground up to where I want it to go to get the canal through. Um, let's have a think. What are, we, what are we doing here? So this road. Ooh. Uh, lucky I was on when you started, yes. Well, I did post it in, in Discord. So you, you would you would have seen it. I would like to see some more Regency style buildings in Wolverhampton. Um, I mean, I, I am building some more Regency style buildings in Wolverhampton. That's what I'm doing right now. Can you not see? The only reason there isn't is because the town I based it off of, Lymington, doesn't have a huge amounts of Regency buildings. So I want to keep it a bit true to form. Um, my next town, Sutton, is built as a as a spa town, as a as a as a sort of Regency town. So. You're going to see a lot of villas and a lot of townhouses built in that style. And I cannot wait. It is my favourite style of architecture. That and Italian native Victorian. Um, isn't your favourite style of Regency? Yes. Favourite Georgian style is Regency. My favourite Victorian is... Um, Italian eight, but you can sort of there's, there's there's clear similarities between the two styles. Oh god, it feels good to be doing this. Take that. 2019 me for being so stubborn and not wanting to move any land um, okay have a good reminder remainder I'm gonna have to talk to my Aussie mates mine before he heads out to work okay no worries thanks for stopping by nice to see you hope you've enjoyed Do you know what I love that, Raven? Because I'm the same. I'm so stuck in my ways of like, well, I can't, I can't build that here because this isn't, this isn't going to fit the town style. And it's so true. And that's what you need to have in your back of your mind all the time about what styles go with what. Does that fit here? Does that work? Can I put that building next to that building? Does it make sense? That's what we look for in builders. Not just someone that can put two blocks together and go, look at my house. That's why that whole clause in the builders, um, how to become a builder is, you must build a whole street. What have I done here? Ah, okay. Apart from ruining that, that's what I've done.
But yeah, so before, I, well, to finish off Wolverhampton, I want to really get it back to the Lymington roots and, and put in some more key buildings that I just haven't put in. Oh, that's much better, right? Let's change this up. But tonight, I really enjoyed just terraforming. Um, it's been so peaceful. This music's good. It's all good. Um, I'm very much like that too, yes. I think Ellingham... I think we... Like I said, Sutton's going to become a community town once I've, once I've built the majority of it. So if you save yourself for that, I'm sure you can fit some Regency in there. Oh, I've never had any idea what I want in this bit. Maybe I'll make it into a park. Might look quite nice. Um, if I if I even if I build looks great if it doesn't fit well I won't like it. All builds need to have some fluid to keep the style. Yes, exactly. Um, towns are entities in themselves. They aren't just you know a collection of buildings. There's a reason for them to exist. There's a there's a there's an overarching age to them. Like if you have a medieval centre, then yeah, that's cool. You got a medieval centre, but you're gonna have some 19th century developments around the outskirts. Poop decks, yep, yeah, that's another one. <laughs> They're also not just standalone entities. They're part of a part of a boat. Uh, I really should do a guide on how to do build how to build towns in Minecraft, but I think I'm going to do that once I've built um, Sutton because that's for me that's going to be a a huge learning curve. Where I take 19th century Plymouth and turn it into a Minecraft town. Let's do it. Um, I suck at towns. City planning is not my strength. I like to think it's mine, but there is a lot I lack. I don't make my plots big enough, um, depth-wise. That's just something I haven't done in Warhampton. But I like to think I know where to place things. You don't tend to put industry in the middle of town unless it is an industrial-centered town. Um, uh, oh, I don't like. Don't like that road. We'll fix that road. Don't oh god, what am I doing? Oh, it's a bit breezy out there. So my idea for this place is to have townhouses along here. And their gardens are like lower down, so you come out of the basement level to get to the garden, which is why I've always kept this bit as a bit lower down. Um, don't know what you're talking about. What you mean? You mean this bit? I've been shaping that bit for a while now. Been working on its curves. Yeah, SimCity was my my entry into it, into city planning. Oh, I've just thought, why not use the SimCity music as my stream music? Ah, oh, such a fool. I will get the original soundtrack on next time. 
blooming love that I do. Bloody love it. So there's a thing, you know, you, you need to do when you're building towns or landscaping, as MS Builds has always taught me. You need to have a hard boundary, somewhere where you say, no, no more. We have just circled the entirety of Woolhampton because I haven't got a hard boundary. <laughs> Ooh, uh, misses. Um, no, the original soundtrack is not. Exactly, Carter. That is 100% the way to plan a Victorian town. If by the turn of the 20th century you have gridlock everywhere, you've done a good job. Well done, those medieval foundations. Um, no, so the original soundtrack for SimCity 4 is not copyrighted. I've actually used it in several videos. By several, I mean two. And by two, I mean the two SimCity videos. Unless it was so quiet they couldn't hear it, but YouTube, YouTube don't be like that, though. I, I really am digging this music today. This is the Stream Beats by Harris Healer. It's the new top thing. I've just got on Apple Music at the moment. Because um, I was using it on YouTube, but the adverts kept appearing. And I was like, nope, go away. So it's much nicer having it as just the pure playlist on here. So nice. So chill. So easy to talk over. I may even start using it in my videos. God, what is it? 11 o'clock. We've been going for f 24 hours. No, that's not what that says, Kira. Can you not read a clock? Before we leave, we're satisfyingly placed. It's all with sand, uh, dirt again. Grass, grass like. So, did you guys see my goals I set out um, for where I want to go and be by next 2nd of August? If not, I'll go through them in two seconds. Yes. Ah, okay. Well, still, 10k by next year, I think, is is achievable. Like, that's not me blowing my own trumpet. That's, I think, mathematically quite achievable. So that's my that's my main main goal. I'm really going to push for that. I think push isn't the right word. I'm going to strive for it. Yeah, well, I always had in my head after I after I hit two thousand this year, and I went right. Well, what's achievable? Let's say three thousand by one year, and I was like, yeah, go on then, go on then, and um, I managed to make it happen. Which was well nice. But it's also that the free videos <laughs> How 
How did you know I was about to mention three videos a week? <laughs> Uh, I'm off now. Really enjoyed the stream. See ya. Thanks, Sean, for sticking by. If you do it correctly, YouTube growth will be quite exponential. It has been. Um, it's really been quite exponential. I have a graph on my work PC that I like to just input everything into once a day because I have Excel on there. I don't have to pay for it. And with that, I've 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 planned. I've planned how I can reach 10k in two different scenarios. One is by the 20, uh, sorry, by the 31st of Sep by the end of the year, by, by you know, 31st of December. To do that, I have require a linear growth, every day increasing, of 45 subs a day. Yes, big numbers. Um, my current growth over the last 30 days has been 26 subs a day. It's pretty good. I like that. I'm happy with that number. That's a good strong number. But um, to get 10k at a standard growth of just like every day from from two days ago, I need to be increasing by 18 subs a day. That's without exponential growth. That's just a linear progression. That's doable. I've been above 20 a day now for 40 days. Uh, it's crazy to think I joined this community when you were at 2k, now you're free. It's crazy to think that I started lockdown. I think, I think it was around about 1.1 thousand. Um, I say kind because I wasn't active until 2.5. When you search in Victoria in Minecraft in Google, the first thing that comes up is WBC builds. Is it actually? Because for me, it's all skewed because obviously it will come up. But to know that people now are searching it as well, good. I'm conquering that, that, that niche. Um, that's a tricky question because... A lot of people, I, I mean, I'm just generalizing. A lot of people who do YouTube don't have jobs they probably love and probably enjoy and probably have worked hard to get. That, that you know, it's probably a normal job that they'd be happy to go off and do YouTube full time. Unfortunately for me, the job I've got is almost like my dream job. So YouTube's just a really nice thing to be doing on the side. Um. I think I would make it work. I think there'll be a balance in it, but like for real, I would never quit my job for YouTube. But I would make them both work. Because there's obviously one thing designing things in Minecraft. But but the fact that I get to design things in the real world as well is um is like always been my dream so it's a really tricky one to answer that well it's not tricky the answer is no <laughs> but but no with a caveat I mean at the end of the day money talks doesn't it so we'll have to see God almighty, that's some terraforming tonight, guys. Wow. Do you make a bit of extra money on the side of every YouTube video? Is it like... Um, so currently, I think I'm making... I don't know how much each job... So I might be way off. Yeah. Um, so on YouTube, I'm making about one pound fifty a day. It's not massive numbers, but 
it's nice and that's corresponding to about i think i think i get about 1.5k views a day oh yeah i do post on reddit whether they actually go anywhere on reddit is a different story reddit is a horrible horrible place to to be trying to achieve anything in it's really really hard um so to answer your question raven no it's at the moment it's nowhere near even what i'm i'm making a day at, at work in a month if yeah a month's earnings on 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 youtube is probably about half a day's pay for me I do see people asking for links on your reddit posts so yes no honestly like once once my reddit so what I mean by hit and miss is it doesn't always hit the front page but I can't complain because I'm a master builder on that subreddit. So, you know, go me. But um, yeah, it's it's very hit and miss as to what gets promoted that day in terms of the algorithm. I don't even know if it's an algorithm or not. It might be an algorithm. Um, so. Yeah, so unfortunately I would have to, I think I would have to be earning quite a bit on YouTube for me to ever want to um, give up my day job for it. Uh, well, it's good to see you're doing something you love for both YouTube and your job. Yes, I've. that's the thing. I've always gone set out in life to do that. For me, time is important. You don't want to be spending time doing something you don't enjoy. Even for money or for anything. Like... Just do what you want to do and have fun. I, I stress about it so much because... In order to... I, I know how to... I, you kind of know how to play YouTube and how to get big fast. But at the end of the day, you don't want to do it if, if you're not going to be having fun doing it and not going to be doing what you want to do with it. God, we always get so deep in these streams. Um, who was it that said if you end up doing something you love you'll never work a day in your life exactly I I have never set out to do YouTube for money um, for me the money is just a nice sort of a nice side not a, yeah a nice side effect of of having fun you have it for the coffee fund i honestly my the amount of coffee i go through like you would you would not not believe so to answer the question how do you do youtube and work a full-time job coffee lots of it at regular regular intervals of the day you can't sit still drink some more because you might as well just stand up to go to the kitchen again drink it like water because it is sort of water just with roasted beans mashed up in it did you all enjoy seeing the um, inside of my coffee mug the other day sorry the, the bottom of my coffee mug that was um that was quite a sight What's your total channel views? Um, 
as of today, as of today, um, do I want to share all my information on YouTube? Probably not. Um, so my overall views on YouTube, um, is 139,000 in total and I have gained um, 40,000 of those in the last 28 days so that's some my views aren't high they're really not that high and if you look at things like Social Blade and that they'll tell you that compared to a lot of channels who have the subscription level that I do, their views should be higher. Now, that begs the question, I think more people subscribe to me than have ever, you know, than... Uh, I think the what's, the... what's the word I'm looking for? The turnover rate, that's it, between people that come to the channel, you know, through the discovery and subscribe is a lot higher than many channels out there who have you know a similar sort of size views I've only got two videos that's got over 10,000 views one of those I posted three weeks ago So I think it's a bit like politics. You start out wanting to be the people's champion, etc. But you realise to get big, you need to do some things that you aren't that aren't very good. As they say, absolute power corrupts absolutely. So um, well, the first one to pass ten thousand views was my my build in the never, which was awful, but guess it found the right audience and yeah the um the second one to get over 10,000 is the, the most recent tutorial but I'm not gonna lie like the server update videos they do extortionately well I put them out and they can get 700 views in a day. They do tank like straight afterwards, but they're good for just getting that nice boost to the um, the algorithm. Um, people just can't be creative these days. It's fine. Um, I think ultimately, as, as we discuss quite a bit in our Discord, whenever I come in there and go, why aren't I growing? And everyone goes, shut up. Um, Guides are pretty much the way forward. Not tutorials as such, but you know, how to build a train station. This is the size of platform you should use. That sort of thing. This is the way to build chairs, you know. I think you even suggested that. I wouldn't call myself a creative either. I'm a. I don't know what I am. Because it's not even like I'm copying real life all the time at all. I actually don't like it. I, I like to break off and do my own thing. Use a reference, yes, but not not copy it. Block, block. Oh. You know what I mean? Uh, no one goes shut. <laughs> no, you know what I mean lovely discussions there so is this me saying let's build a tunnel at this point because I seem to have built a hill over a canal oh, MS builds will be proud 
mean, he can watch on the stream tomorrow. Uh, I swear people don't just don't want to learn how to build anything nowadays. It's just watching tutorials and you don't learn a thing that way. No, you don't. And I mean, ultimately, yes, my, my time lapse is, is um, <laughs> snand, is, is not the best way to learn to build either. But I do my best to make them interesting. What is it? Cool, we're sort of getting into the last half an hour. This is the, the wind down mix. Come join as we discuss the finer politics of life. We're also dropping viewers like flies because people have gone, ugh, they're discussing the inner workings of YouTube again. I came here to watch people build. There is no building going on. What is happening? You're a fraud. Oh yeah, um, another thing I asked the community the other day on, on YouTube, what causes you to dislike? Because um, that build battle I put out on Saturday, two dislikes. It shocked me, like what? I'm, I'm doing something different, I'm, I'm engaging with the community. Oh, what, you mean the gherkins I had from Manans? Yes. Um, I had some today. So nice still. Clickbait. That's what it is. What, because of the, the thumbnail? But then I, then I, um, I did clickbait the next day as well. I mean, did you not see my um, my face reveal was behind a, a silhouette? Yeah, but what's the point of sitting there watching something for forty minutes and then just going, "I built this thing"? No, you clearly didn't. I've I've never ever in my entire life watched a tutorial on how to build something. Everything I build, I build because I want to build it. Oh, I see. Well, it was a little bit clickbaity, wasn't it, that title? Not title, the, the thumbnail. There's been a lot of sand placed tonight. So that's why I, I hate it when people don't comment what they didn't like about it. Tell me if the mic's wrong. I mean, someone even commented about the bitrate the other day. Like, come on. But they still didn't seem to be angry about it. That's pretty cool, Dream Dog. Um, or Dream Hog. Um, yes. There's only one way to really learn, and, and you know, if you aren't, if you've never tried to start before, sure, go for a tutorial, go for that, and and and. But what I can see already from you is you're actually picking up the skills, picking up the ideas. You're coming to these sorts of things, these forums of knowledge sharing, and you're not just mindlessly building that and then going to your friends. Look at this. Um, it wasn't very clear in my opinion. It wasn't just a picture of the building blacked out. Didn't really see what's wrong with it. Well, the funniest thing was the fact you came back with an answer and was like, well, mate, it takes that time to load the video in for you to watch. Also, here's the thing. YouTube um, throttles smaller channels' bit rates. Because obviously it has to deal with billions of videos. So 
what it does is anything under, I think it's under 10,000 subscribers has a different codex for their encoding of their videos. So until then, I won't have crystal clear videos. There is a way around it, but it involves recording things at 4K, but I'm not gonna put my computer through that, the poor thing. Well, this is really something I should have done months ago. Where are we? Where's the map? Oh, well, I showed you guys anyway. Let's stop at two. Right, there we go. What an absolute mess I've made. Uh, well, it's Minecraft anyway. It's going to be pixelated. <laughs> it just it made me laugh. It did. It, it made me go, what? But the funny thing was, it, he wasn't even the dislike, so. Yeah, it's not that I care about them. It's just, it's more of a tell me what you want type thing. Because, um, yeah, exactly. Drop in the comment. Perfect. That's exactly what I want. It's like my, um, my, my tutorial, you know, the, the, the American Victorian house, the one we're talking about quite a bit tonight. It has 530 likes. Most likes I've ever got. Absolutely astounded. But it's also got 11 dislikes. I'm just like... And, and the comments from people who I reckon have disliked it are, this is so confusing. And I'm like, what's confusing about it? I, I pretty much go, the bit at the beginning where you're going through the basement level is so confusing. I'm like, okay. I count out all the blocks. And he's like, well, maybe I'm just dumb then. Maybe you are. Anyway, you've joined the stream. You're listening to me ranting about comments from YouTubers, uh, from people watching my stuff on YouTube. Welcome, this is what we tend to do on a Tuesday night. When the conversation runs dry, I just start moaning. Um, yeah, exactly. It's, it, please talk, anyone. Go on, someone start a conversation. I think some people just dislike to dislike things. I don't want people to get be successful. Yeah, that's that's what I was going to move on to before Carter's trying to stop me. <laughs> um, I I think it was the first video I posted since I hit three thousand subs. So, but what I'm I think if, let me just check. What I'm really happy about is my my face reveal video has not got a dislike on it and that's made me really happy 104 likes really nice very rusty i think i was in that i i need to um need to work on my my question answering but um plus you're still on the map oh no it's not <laughs> It's getting late and I've got to press the buttons. My my. Um. Yeah, he always is. He loves to sit in here chatting away. It's lovely.
Oh yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, I was anticipating just because um, you know it wasn't a wasn't a tutorial, so I think people just get angry about that. Half of Sway Tower streams are just me. Yes, they are. <laughs> oh, Sway Tower. Now, you were the changing point. There is devotion and there's also just it's it's something to do, isn't it? It's a bit of fun. Not the most interesting person to listen to, but we have some some conversations. Well I never knew that and I wondered what you were on about talking about wheels and a boat. I thought we were talking about the wheel inside. Um, I just like to hang out. To be honest, I think I've come a massive leap from just hanging out and actually watching the streams. Well, that's good because it shows that I can teach in a four hour session. <laughs> But now I definitely know what MS Builds was on about when it's just random. It is just random. These big sweeping hills. Love it. This place is looking so different. Um, yes, right. Yeah, it was 16 hours of me going, ooh, is this enough grass path to put down? Good. I'm, I'm glad so. I'm glad you think it's worth it. Sorry, I just suddenly took a deep breath in and lost where I was. Blend you in together. Pretty happy with this. Let's turn it all to. Uh, um, yeah, you run quite a lazy, fair style stream. The conversation just goes where it goes. You have some great potential and just chat in section of Twitch. That's what I love to do. It's like a talk show. Uh, if you want to pop by, you're welcome to since everyone has seen the boat. Oh, we just posted it in, in, in the share the builds. Um, I 
Let me invite you guys. What's what's going on here? Um. Ooh. This seems to be. Oh. So I'm just making noises. No one really knows why I'm making noises. Um. What are we saying? Um. I like watching streams in the background while doing something else. I think I've watched the first five on YouTube. So nice to watch on live. Ah. Yeah, okay. No, I like it. And this is how I've always wanted to run these streams. Because I'm just... I like chilling. I like chilling and building. Nothing more to it, really. Right, let's turn it all... Turn it all... At least then we get a better understanding of what we're looking at. I think getting my, my new microphone, the proper one, has really changed the way I actually talk at things. I really like it. Like, the sound quality from it is just... Oh. Beautiful. Right, we've got about 15 mementos left. Let's get this all coloured in. Uh, I say it's the best way to learn about the style, just watching people build. It is, and I know people want me to do like let's build where I build block for block, but you can see it's taking me four hours to fill in some hills. Yeah, it's it's so relaxing to just build and chat. I, I was scared to do it at first because I didn't really know what to talk about, but when you sort of get in the zone and people start chatting away, it's it's fine. Oh, thank you. Yeah, uh, it's gone a bit horse right now because it's what we're we getting into yeah three hours of me talking I really like this music needs more coffee <laughs> if I drank coffee now I wouldn't be able to sleep and if I didn't sleep I can't go for my run if I can't go for my run I'm gonna be cranky plus I got work tomorrow you don't have to let the stream kind of guide the conversation you never really run out of things to talk about yeah exactly uh, that's why it's nice to have a few people here just you know chewing the fat with 11 people on still nice nice um, yeah I'm, I'm I'm upset I didn't get to finish my villa tonight but honestly I've done something else that I've wanted to do for a long long time we're now moving in to the final throws Ooh, look at that now just a little piece over here make sure we scratch that down Beautiful. I think what, what strikes me as very nice as well is people actually watch the streams back when I put them on YouTube. Like I only did that as a as a sort of just oh, stream. You might as well use it as content as well. But people watch it as it's you know as it's a video, and I'm like, okay, I better make sure I put a nice thumbnail on this. Better make sure I do all of that. How do I... I better take a thumbnail now, actually. Um, before I turn it all to dirt. How do you do the cinematics at the beginning of videos and during the live streams? 
I don't think I've ever done a cinematic in the live stream. The, the ones in the videos are from replay mod. Yeah, I can't do them in the, in the, in the actual video, in the, I can't do them now. Yeah, that's pretty cool, Raven. I, I, I don't expect anyone to be here every time, but we seem to get the um the same old same old people, which is nice. Ah, oh, this place is um ready to go go. What a difference! What a difference! Damn, I do. At certain angles, Wolhampton does look so good. Then you realise how unbuilt half of it is. Oh. Oh, when I take a break. Um, you mean this. That's just um, a slideshow of renders. So it just cycles through a loads of pictures I put in there like that, and I've just I've just done them up in Photoshop. So they've all got a, a vinaigrette, vinaigrette, no vinaigrette, or whatever it's called, the little darkening around the edges, and put the logo in the middle. Yes, watching the streams really does. When people ask for one, uh, you know, like block for block builds, I'm like, are you sure you know what you're asking for? I must say, I love the way, I love just having the stream on the background and listening to the commentary and the conversation. Yeah, thanks mate, it's, think of it as a radio show with a little bit of visual play as well. Um, I mean, tonight we've, we've just placed dirt and sand and, and chatted, so a podcast. Yeah, a podcast, I could do a podcast, I love podcasts. Maybe I'll do a podcast about buildings. There we go. That sounds anorak enough for me. <laughs> yeah, vinaigrette. They, ha they have a salad in here. <laughs> did you make your logo or did you hire like an editor to do it? A bit of both. Um, I got someone in to do it and then I wasn't, you know, best pleased with how it was done. So I took it and made it how I wanted it. Although, to be honest, it needs a bit of work. Um, one of our builders as well was the one that came up with the original idea. Well, I did a sketch and he sort of went, okay, I'll take this a bit further and made some really nice other sketches. And that's what sort of came out of it. A little bit disappointed with it, but I think, um, I think it'll be a case of eventually I'll have it redone by a friend of mine um, who is pretty good. Do I like the wall? Still can't decide. Is that too much detailing on there? No, I think that's just right. I quite like the idea of a WBC podcast. Yeah, so do I. So do I. This is how much stress I have over one building. I'm like, do I do I leave the wool in there? Does that texture look good? Please answer me. I mean, I kind of so if I take you over here back towards that yeah it's just right I reckon yeah texture is good yeah let's speed off into the sunset down the avenue take a hard right Ooh. then we come to dock lane and 
So that's just pure white concrete powder, but I think it works. But that's because it's got the rusticated base and it's a bit more broken up. This is actually probably one of my favorite buildings. Mushroom stem works well as well. So I made this whole street as a an homage to Regency buildings. Bone block, more white concrete powder, and then just pure white concrete. Oh, oh so much. Um, in other sort of, you know that building we're just building over there? That one. This is my first attempt at it when I started Wolhampton. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, Dog Lane never fails to get mentioned in streams. Hey, it's my favourite road. Um, but yeah, so that is meant to be not that. That's meant to be one of the high field. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you should just install one of those brussy tree add-ons. Oh, you mean, um, is it Germs? Germs Craft? Germsy boy? Germs boy. Well. Well. <laughs> We won't be having that on there. <laughs> amount of times I've misspelt that as well. Now, this part of town has definitely come to life. You come round, so this is the way into Wolhampton. We're gonna we're gonna do this now. This is the end of the stream. This is how we end our streams. So you come down this path. And you've got all of these villas down that way and more down that way. That does look good. You've got a nice little park here. Um, Buckland Place, yeah, that's the park. And then you get to the bridge. And you can look down here over at the, uh, the Canal Walk Terrace. Imperial Hotel on the hill. The monument there. Oh, so nice around here now. So what's going to happen down this road is there's going to be a road, uh, sorry, t two terraces, uh, both built quite, not basically, but they're going to be not very posh houses because this is this is like the workers part of the way in. There'll be the dock workers living there. Uh, and then be more houses like that down here. But I'm thinking we'll have villas all... What do you guys think if I built that road all the way around here? And have like villas along it. And then it sort of terminates down here by the lock. Hmm. Do we need a bridge over that lock? Anyway, yep. Love it. Right. A lot of work still to be done in Wolhampton. I spend four hours terraforming an area of land I probably will never build on. No, remember, school. School is going to go there. But, yeah, let's get back to this one and just say our goodbyes for tonight. <laughs> I say very sparse villas would look nice. Yeah, so more of these, like these, just off on this road as it goes out further and further. The houses get, you know, more and more spread out. This is a bit more dense, populated here, it goes past here. That lake's staying, so the road will come down past the lake. Um, there'll be Priestland's house in here. And then there'll be Ampress house over here. Two big estates, you come into Wolhampton from the west farmland and then down the avenue hey 
Hey, it's coming together, guys. It really is coming together. And then you get your look up there. Oh, like the Wolverhampton Banking Group HQ. Just look at it. Can't ever not mention that in a, in a video either. And then you get to this mess of an empty spot. I've actually had so much fun building Wolverhampton. It's been nice just playing around with the style. I'm thinking for when I end Let's Build Wolverhampton, would you guys like a like a nice long walk around, like an hour long video of me starting up here at the gate post at the, um, at, at the toll house and just like walking all the way through? Um, how do I get the... Uh, what version of the game are you playing on um, for like Whale Shark? I, I, do you know what I'm, I want to? So for um, yeah, for the video, I would I would definitely. Have I got any on me? So I would do this, and then I would I would ride the horse all the way through town. And saddles there they are. Oh, why be like this? Come here, let me give you some carrots. Then this is what the streams turned into. No, as in, um, are you playing Java or or or, or Bedrock? One hour role play. What do horses like to eat? Is it carrots? No. Is it apples? Yes, I've forgotten how to... There we go. Um, check out WBC's video on the debug stick. Yes, if you're on our Discord, it's in the WBC builds tips and tricks bit. <laughs> so I think this would be a nice way to do a video obviously with nice cinematic shots from the replay mod but just have me riding in on a horse just going about my daily business As Lord Mayor of Wolverhampton. Oh, this would be so much fun. And what would be cool is if you guys like just appear randomly and just like, I don't know, random encounters as I wander on through. So many empty spaces as well. Oh, I was going to literally post my own video in there. I was, I was about to. <laughs> but I forgot about these houses. You're going to get a one hour tour of me on a horse now anyway by the way some more regency houses got this one oh that looks so lonely over there tell me when to stop <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna keep riding <laughs> each pilder in each pub that's an idea we can do a final Wolverhampton pub crawl before we move on what an idea tell people it's going to be an hour long oh, I forgot how good that's oh, I, I have built some good buildings I'm not going to lie some of it's questionable most of it's alright but there are some good ones alright anyway I'm going to take us to my favourite establishment Charity pub stream. Lovely stuff with a bit of drink involved as well. Have you guys seen this? <laughs> I can't even remember who built this, but I want to say it was Jamie. Yeah. 
Uh, see you later on, mate. Thanks for popping by. Want more arms? Which one was that? Oh yeah, that one actually hasn't got anything inside it. Have you noticed I am now riding around on the horse? Oh. Oh, is that because I'm role playing? <laughs> Goodbye, horse. Okay, so anyway, guys, thank you for watching. It's been a really nice stream. I'm gonna head off to bed now. Catch you guys later on. That and and the adult club. Shh. It's called the Railway Inn, and that's all it shall be known as. Um, but yeah, thank you all, and I will see you soon with some more videos. I guess the server update tour. Saturday. Hopefully. Alright, good night. God bless. <laughs>